if you can't feel a muscle contract, you're gonna have one hell of a time making it grow. And if you're struggling to build your lats, get ready to flex your lats like a superhero getting ready for his favorite action movie once you learn this quick tip on how to maximize lat engagement on the dumbbell row. Even more important, well, you're gonna build bigger forearms, bigger upper arms, and improve your posture and shoulder health when you incorporate rows. Unfortunately, most people do them incorrectly. They act like they're starting a lawnmower. Specifically, if you're a man, building a strong, wide back is a huge sign of power. More importantly, that's what's gonna help turn heads, and that's what's gonna keep you strong and functional across the board. And the good news is, you do not need a lot of equipment. You do not need a fully equipped gym. You don't even need a barbell. In fact, barbell bent over rows, they're a solid exercise, but most people, they end up being up their back. So one arm dumbbell rows are gonna be the most diverse and powerful exercise that you can do to build that V tapered back. Before you go any further, it's 100% crucial that you watch the rest of this video and hit subscribe now. Mistake number one, no pause at the peak contraction. By peak contraction, I mean the top of the rep. If you can't feel a muscle contract, you're gonna have one hell of a time making it grow. And specifically when it comes to your lats, if you can't feel your lats contract, you're probably wondering why your back training is so ineffective. So here's what you need to do. First, when you begin doing your one-arm dumbbell row, you want to imagine actually initiating the movement by pulling with your elbow. When you focus on pulling with your elbow, you're gonna engage that lat much more effectively. Then, when you get to the top of the range of motion, that's when the dumbbell is up closest towards your torso, you wanna pause for one to two seconds so you feel that lat contract hard. A bonus tip, if you look at the muscle fibers of your lats, they actually have a penation angle, meaning they are angled very slightly around your rib cage. So, at the very top, if you you drive your elbow just around your rib cage to squeeze a little bit harder, you're gonna improve that mind-muscle connection and have a much harder muscular contraction to build your lats more effectively. If you wanna lose fat and build muscle, the number one thing you need to do, join our Look Great Naked protocol. Head to the link below, book your transformation call, and hit subscribe. Mistake number two, acting like you're starting a lawnmower. Back in high school, my coaches say, hey, we're gonna call these things lawnmowers. You know what? That didn't really serve us. The reason is, when you have no eccentric control, when you're just ripping the bar or the dumbbell off the ground, you're not applying a ton of tension directly to your muscles. Sure, you might be being explosive, but your form is gonna be all over the map. The most important phase of a muscular contraction for building lean muscle is the eccentric phase. That is when you are lowering the weight down. Most times when you see people in the gym, they're just racing directly through their dumbbell rows. Instead, what you should be doing is you should be taking three to four seconds to lower that weight under control, making sure that your muscles are the ones that are dictating how the movement is being performed, not momentum. When you slow down this process, you're gonna actually improve that mind-muscle connection directly with it. And when you can feel a muscle contract, it's gonna be that much more effective in terms of a muscle-building exercise. So slowing down is gonna improve that mind-muscle connection and help you create more muscle-building tension directly through the exercise. Stop cheating on your reps. Slow down, make your muscles do the work. There are no Olympics for having a heavy one-arm dumbbell row. One-arm rows are a great exercise but you have to do them correctly. Ultimately, joint position dictates muscle function. So if you're doing it with improper form, you're leaving benefits by the wayside. Avoid those six mistakes and you're good to go. Did you find this helpful? If so, pound that like button and hit subscribe. Now, if you want a free copy of our chiseled muscle cheat sheet, the no BS way to help you lose body fat and build lean muscle in 90 days, make sure that you go to the description below and download your free copy. Any questions, drop them in the comments and can't wait to see you with the next video.